A very warm welcome to York Minster and to this online expression of Evensong. Welcome if you are a regular worshipper and know the Minster well, and welcome if you are experiencing this building and this form of worship for the first time today. This evening we will be keeping the feast of St Francis. St Francis is often associated with his love of animals and the stained glass found in the Zeus Chapel where this evening's service is being recorded is a modern piece of stained glass and depicts St Francis surrounded by animals and birds. Animals are a really important part of many people's lives and can be a source of comfort and companionship. And so that at the end of this service, we will meet some of York Minster's pets. And as we do so, we will remember the special relationship and bond that is often developed between animals and their humans. We will also remember the Minster cat, Gerald, who died recently and whose presence is missed around the Minster precinct. In this service we are immersed in the words of scripture, spoken and sung, and we are given time and space to lose ourselves in prayer and come closer to God. So I invite you to keep a moment of silence, to rest in God's presence before the service begins. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall shoot forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The psalm this evening is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Genesis, the first chapter, beginning to read at the 24th verse. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind, 
And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Here ends the first reading. Our second reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? 
Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. Here ends our second reading. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit us on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, who never failest to help and govern them, who thou didst bring up in thy steadfast fear and love, 
Keep, keep us, we beseech thee, under the protection of thy good providence, and make us to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>